Amanda and I'm a trainer for Mind Apples. And this morning I was looking at social media and a post caught my eye. It was from a friend of mine and she was talking about how she's struggling to keep calm at the moment and she listed all the worries she's having. And I must admit, I share some of those worries too. Um, but the response was really interesting. There's a lot of people coming up with counter arguments to what she was saying. And this got me thinking about a theory that we talk about quite a bit at Mind Apples, which is called Ellis's ABC theory. Now, Albert Ellis was a psychologist from the 1950s, and although the theory is old, the concept is very relevant. He talks about how our feelings and beliefs and thoughts are all linked. So in the ABC theory, the A stands for activating events, B stands for beliefs, and C stands for consequences. So to give an example, the activating event could be you message somebody, you text somebody and they don't message back. Then the belief could be, oh well, they're probably busy, but I'm, I'm sure they appreciate me getting in touch and I'll speak to them soon or they'll message me when they get time. And the consequence of this is that you feel fine, your mood isn't affected, your friendship isn't affected and everything is as it was before. Alternatively, you could message somebody, they don't message back. And the belief could be, oh no, I wonder if I've offended them. I always say the wrong thing. Nobody really wants to talk to me right now. I never get it right. And the consequence of this could be low mood, feeling a bit sad, um, feeling quite anxious, um, maybe worrying about contacting them again or worrying what you're going to say when you see them next. And as you can see, the consequence is very different although the activating event is the same. So the activating event hasn't changed. What's changed is the belief. So it's the belief about what's happening that causes the consequence and the feelings. Now at the moment there's a lot going on and I guess we can all have our own beliefs about what's going to happen next and this is what my friend's post was saying um, and her beliefs were kind of um, negative and sort of thinking the worst and a lot of the counter arguments she got from her friends were to try and put a positive spin on things or to face reality that we just don't know and to sit with that. Um, so this is kind of a good example of Ellis's ABC theory in, in action and we can all do that with our minds, we can all look after our minds by challenging our negative thought patterns or negative beliefs and we can do this just by noticing them, just by being aware of them. Or we can write them down, keep a diary of when we have these um, negative thoughts or beliefs. Or we can try and challenge them. So whenever we have a negative thought or belief, we could try and think of a counter argument or um, a different belief. And also we can talk to people, just like my friend did this morning. She reached out on social media and got quite a lot of positivity back. So thinking about Albert Ellis's ABC theory is a good way to try and calm your mind and stay in control of your thoughts and feelings.